Good evening, or morning, depending on when you view this. It's a pepper update time. Got the fan shut off for noise reduction purposes. And, well, got the foods and water over there. I just had to refill most of my water jugs. They don't need to be watered very much at this point. So I just, uh, yeah, there were five empty bottles. And we got the ahisito and monkey face here. Ahisito still got the leaves. It's starting to throw out a few more tiny leaves, but it's pretty dormant still. Bird pepper I topped since last video, and you can see a lot of new growth happening there. So that one's vibrant and full of life. The leaves are a nice dark green color. Characteristic frutescens leaf shape, the more elongated pointed leaves. And up here, we've got some seedlings. This is the ahi pineapple that I had to replant. Right, it's looking pretty good. Broad bacatum leaves. And this is the Brazilian starfish, which looks like it may have lost one of its leaves. I think it did. My son gets in here sometimes, and he is kind of reckless. He actually destroyed one of my CGN 221.84 seedlings. Uh, it was about this size. Yesterday, he just hammering with my thermometer right here and cracked the stem in half right near the base. So I was not very happy last night. Okay. Tabasco looking good. Actually, that even, that doesn't look, that looks like it's got some differences compared to uh, a lot of frutestins. I pulled the seeds out of the frutestins, so I, or out of the Tabasco pepper. I know that it was a Tabasco, or at least, very least a frutestin, but it was juicy like a Tabasco. So anyway, hurricane getting big, leaves are getting nice and broad, it's fanning itself out. Ancient Sweet, I just did last week. Uh, it was getting really huge over in the little germination tray there. Um, the California Wonder Bell Pepper kind of got um, dried out a little bit, so one of these leaves, yeah, it's... I'm learning that bell peppers are a little more high maintenance than some others. Uh, this is Golden Cayenne. Thanks again, Roland, for sending me those. I was able to get some good viable seeds. And this is the Red Sweet Banana replant. And this is my Bikino Iratama, which lost a bunch of leaves, and it's I'm not sure if it's going to make it. I hope it does. I may not replant again with that, that one. And over here, my poor little... What, which one is this? Oh, the Sweet Long, whichever one that is. Corno de Toro or Red Sweet Banana. Uh, got a little dry. Uh, here's the big boy, Ring of Fire Cayenne, branching out. I keep picking flower buds off all these bigger ones. Well, not the, here's my uh, Burgett's Lakota, which is, uh, we'll say about seven inches tall. Leaves are getting nice and big, really beautiful plant. Nice, firm, thick stem. Here's my, or no, this is the Peter Pepper. This one, I don't know if I've pulled any flower buds off it yet, but the purple jalapeno, the ring of fire cayenne, Thai bird's eye, and the uh, poblano. Oh, looks like poblano's got a, some flower buds forming too. So all these annuals. Look at this Thai bird's eye. This thing is insane. It's huge and it's so getting so bushy. Uh, uh, that's one that's definitely going to benefit from topping as well. So yeah, and then my two Romanesco broccoli. Slowly getting bigger. They don't like it as warm as peppers, so their growth has been a little bit stunted by being in the more humid and warm environment of this particular grow room. And my Bootjalokia and Red Gusano, still no signs of reviving, but they don't look totally dead. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. And finally, here's my germination net. There's the replant of my CGN 221.84, and four other new arrivals right here. These first four in the top row are all Tasma or Tasmanian Red, which I, anybody who's been watching my videos recently, I uploaded the video of the test I did of those peppers. It was one of the two or three peppers I got off the plant, and they were really wilted and, and kind of spongy. But it was a really hot one, and it reminded me, the whole sensation came back in my mind. I could visualize how, what the burn felt like again, and 
uh, that upper end annuum burn is quite snake bitey and stingy and well I would like to try those again since I have never gotten a ripe one I would like to see what they're like when they're ripe too and the uh, rest of the top row is pubescens and let's see there's now I don't remember what they all are but anyway uh, middle row is all chin ends or the bottom row and then that's an extra tack on I guess my chocolate butt just emerged two days ago now so yeah we're rocking and rolling having a few setbacks I'm starting to feel the vibe again I'm not not as burnt out on it as I felt with the last month or so but anyway I'll see you guys in two weeks thanks for ducking in and I hope you enjoyed what you saw See ya.